Hey beauties, it's me Cabrina and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the title, this is a my first time try on video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, I am reviewing um the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Sticks. So, I got um three sticks from my local I was going to say my local beauty spy store, but I did not get these from the beauty spy store. I got these from, um, it's actually called the PX, which is on the Navy base, and the Navy base, which is the military base. Um, I actually found these there. I haven't checked, like, any Walgreens or anything like that, but I did pick up the, um, three shades that I think will work for me. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an honest, like, this is basically like a first impression video. So I want to give you like an honest first impression, true review on how I feel about the products. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. You will not get this eye look, although it is looking cute on the viewfinder. I might give it to y'all, give, give it to y'all a little later. But yeah, um, other than that, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to quit rambling and get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, this is gonna be a talk through, so please excuse the squeaky chair. But, um, yeah, so first thing first, I'm gonna do I already did my brows, my eyes, all of this basically, this whole area off camera, and I am going to prime like um, this hard candy mattifying primer. primer from my local Walmart and I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to use this primer for my t-zone area because that's where I'm the most oily -est. <laughs> and I need to be the most matte as I can be I, I honestly feel like I need to get a pore filler too because Ever since I had my baby, like, my pores have gotten huge. So, I'm going to give me one soon. So, now that I have that on, I am going to, I'm basically going to do my same uh, preparation routine. Even though this is, like, a new foundation that I'm trying, I still want to keep everything in the same rotation because I want to do it as if, it's an everyday thing so so that I can know if that makes sense that ain't make sense in my head but basically I'm going to keep my same prep routine because I want to see if the foundation will work with what I normally do so next I'm taking some translucent setting powder this is from um, the beauty bakery in the shade yellow I'm just going to set my areas right here just to mattify it more because it's disrespectful like it gets it gets oily so I'm going to try to keep it as matte as I possibly can okay so now that I have that in I'm just going to take like a um just a fluffy brush and dust off the excess that was on there so next I am going to go, okay, so these are the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus. And I have these three shades right here. Can y'all see that? So I tried to get two shades that was close to my skin tone as possible so that I can highlight and contour and have a foundation base. However, um, I don't have to cream contour I like to but I don't have to so these are the two darkest ones now I'm not sure if um wet and wild has a wider range I honestly didn't go look online I'm gonna double check everything to see but um these are the darkest two shades that I could find at my local um convenience store I actually went on to the PX which is on the um navy base and I got these two so this chestnut maroon and I'm gonna swatch it on my hand for you so 
it's pretty close it's pretty close so I'm gonna use this one as my foundation base and then this one I literally just dropped it y'all so it has a dent in it but this one is um almond now I feel like almond might be a tad bit light but I'm gonna swap out what we can see <laughs> so um this is almond on my hand and yeah almond is light yeah Almond is light, baby. And then the um for my highlight, I chose um sand beige. And simply because my um setting powder that I like to set my face with is um the shade sand. So I'm like, well, it should be closed at least. So this is if it focus, this is sand beige. And I'm going to swatch it right next. And oh, baby. Oh, that's light. Light. So this focus is sand beige. So we have, um, I can't even remember the name, Lord. <laughs> okay, so we have chestnut almond beige. Sand beige. Chestnut almond sand beige. So these are three colors on the back of my hand. Um, I think that the sand will work as a highlight well to highlight with now because almond is pretty light and chestnut is pretty close to my skin tone I'm not going to cream contour I'm just going to use this as my base because if I use almond I'm going to look like a ghost and no ma'am I don't want to no thank you so I'm going to start off with um, chestnut moron I'm going to do my foundation um, base and I'm just going to literally swipe it. Oh, this might be too. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Um, I do. Um, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do because I really want this to work. I really want it to work. I'm going to take almond. And because I just feel like. <clears throat> like I'm not sure how it's picking up on camera. Like I'm not really going to tell this afterwards. But from what I see. I'm looking down in my mirror. What I see um, with the darker tones. Because I have a yellow undertone. The darker shades always tend to look orange on me. Because it's mixing with my yellow undertone. And yeah. We're going to mix it with almond. So I'm just going to take almond and I'm just going to swipe in between. Even though I feel like almond is, like it doesn't have a yellow undertone. It's more like a cool tone. So, we'll see. We'll see. So I'm taking um, my Real Techniques Face Expert brush right here. Favorite, 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 favorite. I love Real Techniques, okay? I love their brushes. They are so bomb. The beauty blenders are... What? <laughs> the beauty blenders? The beauty blenders are bomb too. However, I don't care to use the um, beauty blender anymore just because they're a hassle to clean. Like, all beauty blenders are a hassle to clean, and I hate that. So, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to buffer it into my skin, and I'm literally patting it into my skin versus sweeping it because I do not care to sweep my foundation on it tends to leave um, streak marks and I'm going to spray my um, brush just a little bit just because I want it a little wet so I'm just going to spray it with um, setting spray and this is Wet n Wild um, matte finish setting spray Just so I can get my product to move around. Now I can't say why I'm using this. I honestly am liking the consistency of it. It's very creamy. It goes on smooth. Pause like butter. I like it. I know you probably can't tell on the camera, but I'm going to apply just a little bit more to build it up. Um I do have dark spots, especially right here in my cheek area, 
And always with cream uh, foundations, even liquid foundations, I always end up having to go back and reapply and build it up simply because those dark spots are extremely dark. And I do not like to um, color correct with like red concealer and green and all these other colors people use because I feel like, in my personal opinion, no, nobody else, this is my opinion, I feel like um, it's pointless. So I'm just going back, getting it together, get it together. Okay, so I have the foundation blended to my best ability. I'm going to come in a little, hopefully it's not too bright. I feel like when I come in close, stuff is extremely bright. But um, I'm blending it to my best ability. As you can tell, it looks pretty close from the viewfinder to my face type of deal. It looks pretty close to my um, skin tone. I always match my foundation to my hand, never my neck, even though my neck is matches my face now. When I was pregnant, this was like, it was the color of my hair basically, like I'm not exaggerating, it was extremely dark. So I never like to match with my neck or my chest because my chest is fairly like, you can't tell because I've been wearing my chest out, it's, you know, the sun and out. But my chest is normally fairly lighter than the rest of my face. So I always match with my hand or I'll go like a little bit right here, but that's about it. So I feel like it's not too off. Like I said, because it does have like, uh, I have a yellow undertone and it has like more like a reddish undertone. It kind of makes me look um, very orange, very bronze, which is fine. I like looking bronze. But I'm going to go in now. I'm going to quit the rambling. <laughs> I'm going to go in now with the um, sand beige and I am going to highlight some of my normal. Oh. Uh, I don't know. This might be too. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Jesus. This is light. Extremely light. Oh this is light. Extremely light. Okay. This foundation. This sand beige. It has zero warm tone this is a cool tone foundation i said they highlighted when these are foundations <laughs> but this is a cool tone like these all of these really are cool tone base and i have a yellow undertone so that means i am warm tone and i just dropped it but undertone i'm not sure i don't know I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But I've learned, especially um, watching shows and other people and stuff, you cannot, um, I put too much um, <laughs> setting spray on that. Like, what the world? But I learned that, um, you can't, you can't just go off of when you first apply it. Like, you have to blend it, see how you like it. No, ma'am. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's see. We're we going to work it out. It's extremely light. Like, I feel like when I go to take my pictures... Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> I'm about to take my pictures. This is going to look horrible. And I'm just being completely honest with myself because. Girl, what the world? Like seriously, when I go take my pictures, it's gonna look horrible. I just already know it because as I'm looking at it right here, it looks horrible already. Like right. horrible. 
like the foundation base I guess me mixing it came out pretty decent but this is too light like on the camera because I'm looking in the viewfinder it looks fine but in person she looks like a ghost um almond since it was lighter and I'm gonna go up in here For just for my conscious safety, for my photos that I want to take afterwards, I gotta salvage this. Like, seriously. Oh, and I didn't even tell y'all, I'm using another real technique. Real technique? Another real technique um, face expert brush. It's the same brush. It's just that it's a different color because um, I bought the pink one individually. And then this one I'm using now, it came um, in like a three piece. So I'm guessing this one is like these two. So this is the uh, Face Expert and then this is the um, Deluxe Concealer Brush. And these two came together... And then my little um, blush brush that I like to use for my um, highlight or my setting powder, depending on my mood. Um, all of those came together. And I'm thinking that's the old um, packaging because they've upgraded to this pink one, which is really pretty too. But I like them both. It's still the same brush. Okay, so, can y'all see that? This is up close. I know it's going to be so bright. I can just tell. And I'm looking all in the viewfinder. But, um, I have that blended out. Like I said, I don't have a darker shade to contour with. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, set everything. I do like the cream contour. Now, I have a, um, a dark cream contour stick. But I want to keep this um, video all about the Wet n Wild cream foundations. So I'm going to um, most likely speed through this part of me um, highlighting, basically doing the rest of my face. Well, you know what? I'll just leave it in. I ain't going to worry about it. So I'm taking this setting powder and the shade sand. Um, just some pressed powder and I'm going to set the rest of my areas and then now that I have all of that together I am going to dust off the rest of this yeah Next, we are going to contour. I'm going to powder contour because I don't have a um, cream highlighter. So, I'm going to powder contour. We're going to do blush. Highlight, um, glam highlight, not highlights, but blush and highlight. We'll take Maybelline, not Maybelline, no, this ain't, no, this ain't no Maybelline. What am I talking about? I'm gonna take BH Cosmetics 28 Neutral Blush and Eyeshadow Palette on the cheeks, especially for my brown babies. It looks so good, like it's like a subtle, like. Oh, you've been kissed just a little bit. So this highlighter is from my cosmetic line as well. This highlighter actually was um, never released. This highlight um, 